Today we're going to be taking a look at an Unorthodox Designs magazine loader for Glock 9mm and Glock 40s. And that's coming up next here on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. First off, I'd like to thank Gun Mag Warehouse for sending this out to the channel for us to try out. This is exclusive, the Gun Mag Warehouse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link down below for you guys to check this out. And I thank them for sending this out to the channel. What we're going to do is we're going to take it over to the table. We're going to unbox it. I'm going to show you it, demonstrate how it works. And then at the end, I'll tell you what I think about it. So let's get started. Now we're at the table, let's pop this open and see what all comes with here. Looks like we've got the mag loader and a baggie here. And it looks like everything in the box. We've got the instructions here, very legible. And they give you a diagram on how to use it. Get this out of the bag and take a look at it here. All right, made out of polymer. The base of it is rubber, so it won't slide on whatever surface you put it on. There's your ramp to put the rounds in. Looks very well built. Looks like a couple screws right here. One thing I like about it right here, you got this little knob right here. That's for unloading magazines. Looks very nice. So let's go ahead and try it out. Now we're going to see how this works here. First thing we're going to do is we got a Glock 9mm. This one is a 15 round Glock 19 magazine. What you want to do is you want to turn this towards you. This is your feed ramp. What you're going to do is you're going to put your magazine in with the bullet facing away from you like it's going in the chamber. You're going to put it in here. Make sure it's seated flush. Then you're going to take your round here, drop that down in there, push it down, and that's all there is to it. And the thing about this is, like right now, it's nice and easy. We are going to load 15 rounds in this because I have a feeling once you get so many rounds in it, you're going to have to start smacking it. But we're going to test that out here and see. It does feel like as it's getting more in it, it is tightening up. I'm reaching around the camera doing this, so it might be a little bit more of an effort for me to get it in. Like right there. But if you smack it, then it'll go down in there. And that's what it's made to do. So you can keep doing this. That's a hard one right there. Smack it and it goes right in. We got one more round left. I want to see on this last round, does it go in easy? Nope, so smack it. And now you can see here, we've got 15 rounds loaded up in this with absolutely no issues. Now the nice thing is if you want to empty it like I showed earlier, we just grab that little knob here and you can run this through and pop your rounds out. Let's try a 40 cal one. All right, now we got our 40 cal here. This one is my Glock 22 magazine. Once again, we got 15 rounds. Put the magazine in where the bullet would be facing that way. We got some 40 cal rounds here that are my reloads. Do the same thing, push them down in. We will do all 15 rounds of these. And just like with the nine millimeter so far at the beginning, they seem to be going in with no issues. Gotta love it. This does seem like it would be very nice to take out to the range. I do use a different company, but I think I'll be throwing this one in my range bag also. Now, I don't know if it's because the 40 cals are bigger. It seems like they're going in a lot smoother than the 9mm. Alright, and here's the last one. Drop that in there, and I got all the 40s in without smacking it. Now I'm going to show you a bonus. Now we're going to do a bonus here. This says it is for Glock 9mm and 40. Let's check this out right here. You can see I've got a Canik, if I can get it to focus there. Mag here, let's try that and see. Just out of curiosity, it fits down in there. Of course it's loose. They say they're going to be making these for other manufacturers, but I want to see if it'll work anyways. And I got 15 rounds here. So far, so good. Looks like you just got to lift up on the magazine. There we go. Looks like it's a little bit more work, 
but it looks like to me it's working just fine. I'm loading this Canic magazine up. Just have to lift up on it to get it to go down the ramp. Seems to be feeding fine. Let's go ahead and put them all in just to see what it does do. Ah, that one looks like it didn't go in. That time it did. It looks like just because it's a little bit loose, it might not put them all the way in. But in a pinch, if this is the only thing you have, and you have a different kind of magazine besides a Glock out with you at the range, looks like there would be no issue using this. Make sure it goes all the way down the ramp. And here is the last round. And you can see right there, we got all 15 loaded up in the Canic. Let's try one other magazine. Now we have a 15 round magazine here. This is a military one for a Beretta 92FS or Beretta M9. Do the same thing. Just like the Canic, it's a little loose in there. Let's see if it'll work on it. If you get it lined up just right, it will. Now, would other mega loaders go quicker? Yeah, that's probably why they're going to be coming out with brand Pacific ones. But you can see on this one, I'm having an issue with that. But in a pinch, you could use it. I think the same time on the video, I'm not going to do all these. Because you get my point that in a pinch, you could use these. Let's go back up on top and finish out this video and tell you my final thoughts. So what's my final thoughts here on the Unorthodox Designs magazine loader for Glocks? For Glock magazines, it seemed to work out just perfect for you. Good for people with Glocks or Glock clones like the PSA Dagger or the SCT-19, stuff like that. This would be great for. Also with the 40 cal, it works on them both. Now I did show you as a bonus, if you're in dire need, you can use other magazines with it, but they're not gonna fit in there as tight and they're not gonna work as smoothly. They are coming out with different designs for different guns on these. So once again, I'd like to thank Gun Mag Warehouse for sending these out to the channel. There's gonna be a link down in the description for you guys to check them out. As always, don't forget to check the links out down below. There are affiliate links down there that do help out the channel. Some of them got discount codes to save you guys money. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are One Nation Under God. I'll see you all on the next one.